This is ABC 7 News at 11, your Suncoast News. We are here for you. Good evening, I'm Haley Wilgus. Thank you for joining us tonight. Our top story this evening, a former auto mechanic convicted in the murder of an 11 year old Suncoast girl will receive a new sentencing trial. Joseph Smith was convicted in the 2004 murder of Carly Brucia. A jury had recommended the death penalty in a 10 to 2 vote the following year, but a judge granted the motion for a new penalty phase trial as the result of a Florida Supreme Court ruling that a jury must unanimously impose capital punishment. However, this new trial does not overturn Smith's conviction. A date for it has not been set yet. Smith was found guilty of kidnapping, abduct abducting and murdering 11 year old Brucia. The crime was caught on a surveillance video. That abduction right there actually was caught on surveillance video at a car wash where it took place. New tonight, the Manatee County Sheriff's Office needs your help finding a missing child. Child protection investigators believe five year old Old Megan Blakely is with her father, Michael Blakely. Information about their last whereabouts are not know, is not known. Also, deputies did not specify whether the child is in danger. If anyone has information, they're asked to call the Manatee County Sheriff's Office. Nine people are arrested by Sarasota County Sheriff's deputies for practicing unlicensed contracting. The operation spanned three days, and over that span, detectives worked with the Sarasota County Building Department and two other state agencies to contact people at advertising home repair services that require a license to complete. Deputies found none of the nine men had a current contractor's license. They are now facing 11 felonies and seven misdemeanor charges. Deputies say the incident is a good reminder to always seek licensed contractors to perform work on your home or business. Part of Sarasota's busiest north to south roadway is still closed tonight. One of the most busy cars are not able to drive down Beneva Road near Beneva Woods Boulevard. The closure is expected to go on for a few more days and ABC 7's Rick Adams explains why. Well, Beneva Road here heading south towards Clark Road has remained shut down because of a water main break and extensive damage to the road. This has caused some major headaches for folks around here. It's been a headache, that's for sure. Madison Scheid is like many other people who are feeling the frustration of having Beneva Road closed the last few days following a water main break Monday morning because of some aging pipes. Yeah, Scheid and her right stepdad now. live in the Beneva Woods development, which is right near where the water main break happened. It's been so difficult. We are so used to being able to go to Publix whenever we want and go to the beach whenever we want. Now we have to take a long trip around and it's really been a problem. Sarasota County officials say the water main failure has been repaired, but it caused lots of damage to the road. We certainly apologize for the inconvenience. We're doing everything we can to to, to open the road as quickly as possible, but asking motorists to avoid the area and find alternate routes. In addition to the road closure, 159 homes are being asked to boil their water. That boil water advisory is expected to be lifted sometime on Wednesday. There were some challenges. We went to McDonald's a number of times because couldn't use the bathroom. And um, I imagine a lot of people probably had to do that. And for Bob Wilson's wife, Sandy, she offers this advice while Beneva Road remains shut down put a little a couple extra minutes into doing this that's all and figure out your route is to the shortest way to get to your point of destination and Sarasota County officials tell us this part of Beneva Road should be reopening sometime before five o'clock Friday afternoon or sooner reporting from Sarasota I'm Rick Adams ABC 7 your Suncoast News Thank you, Rick. New tonight, heavy rain leads to the sinking of a boat from the Bradenton Police Department. Police were notified about this around 3 o'clock this afternoon at the Twin Dolphin Marina on 1st Avenue West downtown area. The department's dive team had taken it out in the water by 6 o'clock. It said it had taken on water by 6 o'clock. No word yet on the boat's damages or how much this will cost to fix it. Deputies tell the Bradenton Herald while it's uncommon for this to happen to police boats, it is a common occurrence for all boats boats in general when heavy rain occurs. And now we're going to head over to Steve Newman, who is in for Bob tonight with more on that. If we expect any more rain. Oh, Haley, yes, we do. And we had some heavy rains around the area, anywhere from an inch, uh, inch and a half to 
a quarter inch in some spots. We'll look at that in a few minutes. But right now, the radar scope is beginning to die down after just being lit up this afternoon with strong storms, including one that went over Bradenton earlier. Uh, but right now, you can see all of them are pretty much dissipated. And the computer forecast model for overnight in high resolution shows that we should not have any more storms on land until closer to dawn. And then with the heat of the day, we could have an increasing chance of showers and thunderstorms throughout the day. Temperatures overnight will cool off into the uh, mid and upper 70s and our chance of rain pretty flat overnight, but then the heat comes up and the chance of rain will go up as well. Tropical storm Dawn is no more. Details on that coming up in a few minutes. Haley. Thank you, Steve. New revelations coming from the White House tonight about President Trump's interactions with Russian President Vladimir Putin. The White House revealing there was a second informal meeting between the two. White House spokesman Sean Spicer says the president and Putin spoke during a world leaders dinner at the G20 summit earlier. The second meeting was just a few hours after a formal, more public conversation earlier that day. It's not clear what was discussed. Intelligence officials have accused the Russian government of meddling in the 2016 election. Also new developments tonight on the health care saga in Washington. The Republicans seven year long push to repeal and replace Obamacare and their plan B to simply repeal the entire Affordable Care Act appears unlikely. ABC's Emily Rao explains. President Trump expressing his disappointment. When we finally get a chance to repeal and replace, they don't take advantage of it. The devastating blow to the Senate's health care plan coming late Monday when two more Republicans defected, effectively killing the bill. This has been a very, very challenging uh, experience for all of us. Republican Majority Leader Mitch McConnell quickly proposing a new plan, repeal now and have two years to replace. But three GOP senators already saying that's a no-go. I do not think that it is going to be constructive uh, to repeal a law that at this point is so interwoven within our health care system. And after doing little to help sell the bill, the president not shouldering any of the blame and suggesting a different plan. Let Obamacare fail. It'll be a lot easier. We're not going to own it. I'm not going to own it. I can tell you the Republicans are not going to own it. We'll let Obamacare fail, and then the Democrats are going to come to us, and they're going to say, how do we fix it? How do we fix it? Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell still wants to have that vote to repeal Obamacare, even though he knows it likely doesn't have the votes to pass. And he said on Tuesday the vote will likely happen sometime early next week. Emily Rao, ABC News, Washington. Late night noise has now been the norm for some people living on Holmes Beach, but an ordinance recently put into place has been helping some. The city already has an ordinance regulating vacation rentals, allowing two people per room. But now the ordinance also includes inspections, stressing health and safety requirements. Rental owners are subjected to fines if that ordinance is broken. A follow-up tonight on a proposed business tax in Sarasota. Commissioners voted against the 5% increase. Last year, the tax generated $937,000 in revenue. The city proposed an increase in those fees for the 2017-2018 budget. The vote originally passed on its first reading, but was struck down in a 3-2 vote on Monday. It's a lot to somebody that's trying to make ends meet. Uh, that's trying to pay employees, that's trying to buy inventory, that's trying to grow. And at the end of the day, it sends the wrong, messages, the wrong message to the city of Sarasota uh, and the greater community that, um, you know, we're, we're taxing businesses, we're opposed to businesses. We want to send the opposite message that, that we are open for business. The 5% business tax increase would have generated an additional $47,000. That would have been added to the city's $65 million general fund. Two Suncoast companies were in Washington yesterday showing off their products to the president. It is all part of Made in America Week in the nation's capital. Venice's Tervis Tumblr was one of those companies. They showed off their line of plastic cups, which we all know. And then Bradenton truck builder Pierce was also at the White House. Pierce builds fire trucks for fire departments all around the country. I tell you, it's really, it's an honor to be, have our product featured at the White House like it was yesterday. Uh, the product was there that we're very proud of, so it makes us feel good to be able to be a part of that and also to supply uh, first responders with a high quality product worldwide. Pierce recently shipped a fire truck that, uh, that completed a fire truck that is to be shipped over to China, spreading American products 
around the world. It's kind of different to send something to China instead of us importing from China, so great for them. Straight ahead, meteorologist Steve Newman will be back with the official Suncoast forecast. Plus, more details emerge, but many questions still remain in the deadly shooting of an Australian woman in Minnesota by police. And an 86-year-old woman arrested for theft in Atlanta. But this is not her first rodeo. Her jewelry heist so notorious, they've been featured in a Netflix documentary. More on that next. Download ABC7's all-new official Suncoast weather app onto all your devices so you can stay informed wherever you go. With our full-featured all-new weather app, you can get weather alerts, interactive radar maps, current conditions, 10-day forecasts, traffic maps, and weather video from ABC7, all at your fingertips. And it's free. ABC7's all-new official Suncoast weather app, sponsored by Mr. Sparky. Just search Suncoast WX in the App Store and download yours today. I love big bling for little Ching. That's why I only wear Spectralite diamonds from Created Gems. Or I wear nothing at all. At Tidewell Hospice, we know it's never too late to say thank you to our military veterans. The Tidewell Honors Veterans Program has provided care to more than 13,000 military families since 2008. Tidewell volunteers help honor veterans through special pinning ceremonies that demonstrate our appreciation for the freedom our veterans fought to defend. If you know a veteran who can benefit from end-of-life care, call or visit Tidewell.org today. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. This is your brain. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Um, yeah, I have questions. Prescription drugs aren't as bad as street drugs, right? Weed's legal, isn't it? Drinking is worse than smoking weed. Isn't it? Why is, is heroin, heroin so, so addictive? Molly just makes you feel happy. I have questions. Mom? Dad, did you ever try drugs? They're going to ask. Be ready. Go to drugfree.org. A message from Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. Check out My Sun Coast Dining on MySunCoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, step-by-step videos, and Sun Coast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySunCoast.com slash dining. Don't hate me because I'm blingable. Get your bling on with affordable Spectralite Diamonds exclusively at Created Gems and Gold and Silver, where you always get big bling for little ching. Steve, Dawn Tropical Storm ha has dissipated. Dawn is no more. Dawn it, is gone. It's still got 40 mile hour winds around its remnants, so it's still got Tropical Storm right. force, but it doesn't have a central circulation. We'll explain all that. It's not going to be a problem for the Sun Coast at all. Today, though, was a beautiful day. Look at that towering cumulus uh, about uh, 1030 this morning, 1045, and then, boom, at 11 to noon, it just doused a good portion of downtown Sarasota up to the airport and up Bee Ridge and around the area. We've had uh, varying amounts of rain and at Sunset, look at that. There's your award-winning Sun Coast Sunset. We love those when they happen that way. Currently at the airport at 79 degrees. Our dew point, a rather humid uh, 75, a little sultry, 88% uh, percent humidity with an east-southeast wind at 7 miles an hour. Thanks good, thank goodness for that little breeze. Our high temperature today was 87, last night's low 75, pretty close to normal, and you can see the records there. The record 67 goes back to 1918 when we were a sleepy little fishing village here in Sarasota. Well, the rain showers that just blanketed a lot of Florida today are pretty much gone. There's one area just around Jacksonville. Uh, some around Miami were locally heavy earlier today that produced flooding. And along the Sun Coast, we had hit and miss thunderstorms. And where they hit, 
This is what we got in the form of rainfall totals. Uh, three inches out by Mayaka State Park, about 2.4. Uh, uh, western parts of Northport, downtown Sarasota, only two clicks. Uh, you can see it was very widely scattered depending on if you happen to be lucky enough to be underneath those storms. High pressure is controlling our weather pattern here and in the southeastern United States. And from coast to coast, there are no major weather problems, although the heat is becoming, beginning to build in the Midwest over 100 degrees in some parts of western Kansas today. A beautiful evening in San Francisco where it's 61 at this hour. Now let's take a look at the tropics. And yes, tropical storm Dawn did fizzle, but first let's look at this easterly wave. It's uh, the next in the progression of systems coming off Africa. It has a 30% chance of developing in the next two days. If it doesn't happen then, it's not going to happen because it's going to move into unfavorable conditions out in the Atlantic. Now Dawn, let's take a look at it here. Boy, it just does not have any organization at all. It's right over Grenada, and I checked the weather observation at the airport there at the top of the hour, and they had 20, 25 mile an hour winds, but nothing special and hardly any rain at all. So it's weak and disorganized, and the National Hurricane Center now says it is no longer a tropical storm, but look, still 40 mile an hour winds associated with it, post-tropical storm Dawn, and it, it looked like it for a while there it was gonna move toward the uh, Netherland Antilles. And because of those wind threats, it's still a tropical storm warning, in fact, for Grenada, uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, but Curaçao and Bonaire and Aruba have all dropped their warnings of the approaching system because it's not going to reach there. Now, our weather across the Sun Coast, we're in that pattern where we get a lot of not only afternoon and evening thunderstorms, but some forming around sunrise and continuing in the morning. By tomorrow afternoon, uh, whatever has developed will be bunched up along the Atlantic coast. And then again on Thursday, they develop again and move across the state and get bunched up along the Atlantic coast by late in the afternoon once again. It's a pattern that goes from west to east rather than the other way around that we had uh, last week. Out on the water tomorrow, winds will be east in the morning to west in the afternoon at five knots. Seas two feet or less and smooth because of the lack of rain, uh, lack of wind. It's going to be quite nice out there if you get a chance to boat. Here's your forecast for the next seven days. 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms as we move into the weekend. Then perhaps a little less chance as we move into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. We're stuck in the same old weather pattern for the next few days. Haley. Thank you, Steve. New details tonight about that deadly police shooting in Minneapolis. A yoga and meditation teacher was killed after calling 911 for help. Her heartbroken family is now demanding answers. ABC's Maggie Ruley has more. An investigation into last weekend's police shooting that left bride-to-be Justine Damon dead reveals the identities of both officers, Muhammad Noor and his partner, Matthew Harity. Harity was interviewed early Tuesday, nor so far has declined to be interviewed. We cannot compel Officer Noor to make a statement. I wish we could. Justine Damon had moved here from Australia, calling it a spiritual journey. Had moved my whole life over. And a yoga and meditation okay. teacher, she planned to marry Don Damon next month. Our hearts are broken and we are utterly devastated by the loss of Justine. But everything changed on Saturday night at 1128 when she called 911 to report a possible assault in the alley behind her home. Four minutes later, Justine is shot in the abdomen and killed by police. Officer Harity, who was driving, says as they reached the scene, he was startled by a loud sound near the squad car. Immediately after, he says, a woman appeared. Officer Knorr, who was in the passenger seat, then fired through the open driver's side window. Knorr is a 31-year-old, two-year veteran of the force. City records show he's had three complaints filed against him. Two are still open. Investigators are aware of no video or audio of the incident. Body and dash cameras were off at the time of the shooting, but they are seeking for help from the public. We're trying to figure out what happened. We don't know yet. Asking for a young white man who was bicycling in the area to come forward. Maggie Ruley, ABC News, New York. An update tonight on a former Speaker of the House convicted of bank fraud. Dennis Hastert was released from federal prison today after serving 13 months of a 15-month sentence. The ex-Speaker admitted to sexually abusing teen boys while coaching at an Illinois high school. He pleaded guilty to illegally withdrawing more than $950,000 to buy the silence of one victim. He now faces two years of supervised release. Hastert served 20 years in Congress and eight years as the highest ranking member of the House before retiring in 2007. An unusual bust in Atlanta. A notorious jewelry thief is arrested once again and get this, she is 
86 years old. Police arresting Doris Payne for taking $86 worth of assorted sundries from an Atlanta area Walmart. She was later released on bail. But Doris is no stranger to law enforcement. And this was actually a small theft. She had been arrested multiple times for stealing nearly $2 million worth of jewelry over the last 60 years. Her crimes have actually been the subject of a Netflix documentary. Frontier Airlines is now doubling in size. The airline is adding 21 new cities and 85 new routes. Florida spots such as Miami, Tampa, and Orlando will all get expanded Frontier service. Tampa with the most new routes. Frontier is hoping to operate 314 nonstop flights by next summer. Sports is next, but first, here's Jimmy Kimmel. Here's what all the kids will be Snapchatting about tomorrow. You were on the Wheaties box. I, I did do all of When that. I yes. was eight or nine years yeah. old, like right in I'm that. trying to get back on it now. But, you know. <laughs> Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. This is an important medical announcement. Xeralto and Pradoxa have been linked to uncontrollable bleeding and even death. If you've been prescribed one of these drugs and have experienced these dangerous side effects, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Studies show that Pradoxa can cause more heart attacks than warfarin, and other countries have already issued safety warnings against this drug. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. The call is confidential. There's no cost, and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to Pradoxa victims, and thousands of Xarelto victims are filing their legal cases. Call the Drug Watch Hotline. If you or a loved one used Xeralto or Pradoxa and experienced uncontrollable bleeding, brain hemorrhage, or even death, you must call now. Call 800-793-6055. 800-793-6055. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was and some additional cancers that were not found during the biopsy. I would recommend the Detoli Cancer Center. As a group of human beings, they are unbelievably great. There was this big bruise on my friend's face. I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to think her own nephew could have hit her. I didn't want to see it. My mother's bank account was emptied and a caregiver had taken control of it. I didn't want to see it. My father's refrigerator, there was hardly anything in it. That's unusual for him. It's tough to see that a senior citizen is being abused, physically, emotionally, sexually, or financially. Elder abuse is a crime. So see the signs, stop the crimes. Everybody can make something because I think everyone has a spark of creativity. And the reason that I have to keep making is because I don't think my life would be as fulfilling without it. If you make things yourself, that means you're not cowering in fear. You're out there taking chances. That, I think, is my way of saying I love you to the world. All right, now I want to hear why you make. Share your own Why I Make story today. Visit whyimake.org. Keep up with your investments and market trends by watching the ABC7 Stock Report. Get a recap of all the day's stock market activity. Be sure to watch your Suncoast News at 6 for the ABC7 Stock Report, sponsored by Sunset Cadillac. Now, sports. Tampa Bay Rays are up against the Oakland Athletics once again tonight. Right now, the Athletics are winning 3-2 to two at the top of the fifth inning. The game started at 10 o'clock because they are out on the West Coast. For the first time since turning pro, Tiger Woods has dropped out of the top 1,000 golfers in the world. He is now ranked 1,005th. The 41-year-old has undergone multiple back surgeries and hasn't played competitive golf since he was forced to pull out of the Dubai Desert Classic in February. But despite that, he says he is still 
interested in playing. Woods has won 14 major tournaments, second only to Jack Nicholas. Speaking of golf, huge crowds expected to turn out this week for the 146th British Open. Practice rounds took place today among those playing Jordan Spieth, Brooks Kepka, Henrik Stenson and John Rahm. All say they are looking forward to the tour. Coming off a, a win and then a few week break, feel fresh, feel um, ready to go. Given how, how long and, and successful career I've had, I think that's, that's pretty much what we what we're aiming for a few more chances to, to win win more major championships. Also returning for this tournament, Phil Mickelson. He carried only the three wood with him during the practice round, and he plans to keep it that way. The three wood is the same club he had when he won the British Open in 2013, which was his last victory. The Open starts on Sunday. Meanwhile, players in the U.S. Open can expect top dollar for their participation. For the first time this year, total player compensation will be more than $50 million. That is a record $3.7 million for each of the singles champions. Both the men's and women's doubles champions will earn $675,000. That's the highest in Open history. Runners-up will get just over $1.8 million. The U.S. Open starts on August 28th, and that would be... Tennis U.S. Open. Sorry about that video. We'll have a look at our lotto numbers right after this. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. If you're only hungry for a slice of apple pie, why buy the whole pie? And you certainly wouldn't want to pay for an all-you-can-eat buffet. So if you don't use your cell phone that much, why get charged for a plan that's too big or even an unlimited plan? Luckily, there's still a wireless company that shares your values. Welcome to Consumer Cellular. Our average customer pays about $25 a month for everything they need. Many pay even less as plans start at just $10 a month. You'll get a straightforward bill that's easy to understand with no surprises and all the attention you deserve from our friendly customer service team. No wonder Consumer Cellular has received J.D. Power Awards for highest customer service. Plus, if you're an AARP member, you'll receive special discounts. It's easy to switch. You can even keep your phone and your number. And now, for a limited time, get a $20 credit on any new line of service. Call 1-800-468-1930. Go to ConsumerCellular.com or visit a Target store today. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I am creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah. Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. The Florida Lottery winning numbers are sponsored by Frontier Fios.
started with two passengers, turned out to be three for one Uber driver in Los Angeles. A woman in labor and her husband hired the Uber driver to rush them to the hospital. But on the way, she ended up giving birth to a baby boy in the backseat of the car. And I said, it's going to break in like five, ten hours. I don't need a towel. And by the time I said that, 30 seconds later, the water broke. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about your car. Well, the couple already has three girls, so now this little boy is going to probably be very spoiled. And he has quite a story to tell about his entrance into the world. No lifetime pass on Uber? I, I, you know, maybe he should. Maybe he should, should be a that. spokesman or something. <laughs> and a correction from the sports segment, British Open ends on Sunday, starts on Thursday. So just a little note there. We've got some showers and thunderstorms in our forecast for the next few days. About a 50% chance right on through Friday and Saturday, and maybe a little drier toward the latter half of next weekend. All right, not looking too bad, our usual summer pattern. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a great night.